guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my Finis 13 by Sector Lucia. And if you want the background story to this project, I told a lot about it in the intro. So I will link it up here in the corner. This is a project based on a Scandinavian tradition. And I'm doing this with a lot of other Swedish and some Danish girls. They will be listed down below in the description box. It is on YouTube and Instagram so you can join us both. There's two months until the finale so I have a ton of progress. I have empties and yeah I'm very excited to share you guys. I had some empties last time as well so if you want to see those please check the other update out. If I seem a little confused in this update, that's because I am. I have been sick the past couple of days, so that's kind of why I'm a little bit confused in this update. I will try my hardest not to be confused. <laughs> this time around I have four empties to show you. The first one is a lip liner and I'm so excited to have this done. I have been fighting this lip liner since the since the start of the year basically because i really don't like this lip liner it's very drying on my lips and it is in this very very pale pink shade that is just too pale for my skin tone it is on my paper right here i have made a ton of progress since last time and i'm very excited because i used it every single day underneath my lipstick lipstick or whatever i wore and I used it mostly as an ombre lip liner uh, that I have talked about a lot. But yeah, intro, first update, and now I am done. No, no, it's... So it's intro, first update, second update, and now I am done. That's the one. <laughs> because there was a month I didn't use this at all because I just don't like it. But I found a way to use it and I'm so happy it was gone. Because now I can use some lip liners that I actually actually not. Then I have my deep padded lip balm in this baby lips container. This is the plastic you can see here and on here on the cap intro, first update, second update and now I have finished it all. So I guess I have measured it with the plastic. I'm not really sure. And I even dug a little bit out with my finger. I'm so happy this is gone because I will want to focus on other lip balms. Then I have my Essence Quick Dry Top Coat. It was not the best product, but it wasn't the worst either. It was very, very liquid and very thin. So I didn't really like it because of that. But yeah, what you can see here is the top coat mixed in with some of the glitter. I'm so over my top coat with the glitter because I poured in some glitter from another project because I wanted to use it. I like the effect but not really at the same time so I'm so over it now and it's so thick and groovy that I can't reach anymore so I'm just calling this done. I'm pretty sure I started up here so first second and now I'm done. Last update I've added in my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in 15 and I was down to here so I had pulled out the stopper and it is completely empty now. I don't know if you can see it but I did scrape it lot. Can't reach what is left but yeah it's done. I'm happy. I'm using another one. So but it is my holy grail though. I think that is everything I finished. So I will just show you the progress now. I have my Benefit the Professional Primer and I finally got the air bubble out. This morning when I did my makeup it was like poof and I was like finally. <laughs> so Intro first update, second update, and now I'm down to here. The past months I haven't been that good at using it, but this month I have been really, really focused on it and like use it for God's sake, you have it in a project. I have my Gosh eyeliner in black, black ink, 23 black ink. It's very steady progress, if you can see. I would have made more progress if I wasn't so lazy because I don't find it very easy to use because you have to draw. A liquid liner you can just swipe it on basically so it's just laziness that I haven't made more progress but overall I'm so happy about my progress because it's a cool eyeliner pencil um yeah it is good though it is it is good my benefit positant it's a lip and cheek stain I don't like it for my lips I <laughs> 
I've tried it a lot on my lips this month, just because I always forget it on my cheeks. I can at least use it on my lips then. I hate it. It's it smells um, awful, tastes awful, and I just don't like it on my lips. It is this very pink color. I can't measure it. I don't know how much is left. There is a ton of product coming out each time, not for one cheek, you know. Um, I use a stipple brush with it. I forget it half of the times I use makeup. Again, it's an extra step in my routine. I don't like it. Um, it, I love the color, but I just forget it. I'm very disappointed in myself with this hair oil because I use it so much in August and I'm just like, why couldn't you use more? <laughs> um, because you just used it a lot on holiday in roads when it was very hot and I showered every single day. When I wash my hair here at home, I use it every single time as well. But it has only made this small amount of progress and I don't really get it. It is the Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair Daily Oil Elixir if you care. Yeah, it's boring, I know. Um, I really hope I can have it done in two months. I'm pretty sure I can when I have made this much progress when using it as often as I am. But I just wish it was gone now. <laughs> Then I have some nail polish and I have my Depend Nail Polish Glitters and this is the red one and I have used that yesterday here on my nail. I have used this much this month. I'm very very happy about that. This is getting very very thick and goopy. So it's more heavy glitter so you get more glitter because the nail polish itself is goopy, you know? I haven't used this at all, the silver one. I think it was Joy and Cherries that talks about a peel off base coat for glitter nail polishes and I really can't find any that isn't too expensive and if I search on it, it's more latex nail polish, is that the same? I'm not sure. I need to explore more in the drugstores and stuff like that. I can't get only here in Denmark, so it needs to be something else <laughs> if you have any rec recommendations. Then I have my Technique Single Eyeshadow and I have used this a ton. After I finished my panda palette, I could really focus on this shadow and then I'm using this on my lower lash line. So I am getting use out of it every single day and I'm very very happy about my progress. I really hope I can have it done. So I really need to do more of it all over my lid but I really want to play with my collection at the same time. It is very old though. <laughs> Um, oh my god, did that just happen? It just fell out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And my sea palette is going wild. Oh my god, seriously, did that just happen? Here, it landed on my phone, luckily. Oh my god, it was half of the shadow. Okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to repress this. <laughs> it will be more, much more easy to use as well. Okay, that's... Okay. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm not very happy right now. And then I added in this highlighter from My Color Workshop. I will of course insert the progress pictures, but yeah, I'm basically done with this. I'm so excited and I have been working on this on and off all year. So I'm very, very excited to have this done. It's not really a, a highlighter, it's more of a blush topper um, because it's too dark for a highlighter and it's kind of a blush. Um, so I have had used it on top of my blush every single day because it has a sheen but it's so light and I just don't really like it. I think it's going very fast because it's very very soft. It has a lot of fallout. Oh, I'm just going to close the C palette and then call it a day. Now 
the last Oh, it's red. Oh my god, it's not my day today. The last item is my Yves Rosset Clementine and Spices shower gel. It was completely new when I added it in last time up here. I'm all the way down to here. I don't know how I did that. Because when I worked on the last one, um, the other one, my Cranberry and Almond, it went down so much slower. <laughs> I think it was because I didn't bring it with me with me on um, my vacation and holiday and stuff like that um, yeah, I'm down to here so I'm pretty sure I can have this done by the finale I'm not going to add in more products this time because I just don't really know what to put in I don't have any gimme products I don't have any mostly empty products that I know I can finish before the finale um, there's maybe some products I can finish before the end of the year but that is not really the point this project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the other ladies down below. They're lovely. I love them. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Then you will know the next update and other updates on my other projects. If there's something you would like to see in a video from me, please list it down below. I would love to hear because then I can add it to my long list of video ideas already. But if it is something you really want to see me do, please let me know. I hope you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my social media, I'm way more active on there. And yeah, please take care until my next video. Bye guys!